You've heard the good, now it's time for the bad. And possibly a bit of the ugly. These are my bottom 10 movies of 2016, the worst movies that I saw last year. Once again, this list is purely subjective. I can only rate movies that I actually saw. There may be some you're expecting to see on this list that aren't there, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea, we good? Okay, bottom 10 movies of 2016, go. Number 10, Jason Bourne. The latest entry in a long running franchise that really should have died a long time ago. This was little more than a cheap rehash of the Bourne supremacy. The story made no sense, the camera work was nauseating, they brought back Julia Stiles only to kill her off almost immediately, and Matt Damon had, I think, 25 lines of dialogue in the entire film. What a waste. Number 9. Miracles from Heaven Faith-based movies do not exactly have a reputation for quality, and in that respect, I guess this did not disappoint. Sure, it had a talented cast and a story that at least had some potential, but Basically, I just watched a little girl suffer in agony for 90 minutes. Movies like this make baby Jesus cry. Number 8. Me Before You Do you feel sympathy for the filthy rich? Do you ever wish those crippled people would just up and die already so us able-bodied folk can live our lives to the fullest? Have I got a movie for you! On the other hand, if you still have a soul, you might have some issues with this one. This allegedly romantic movie had some hidden misacting, underdeveloped main characters, and a message that may have been well-intentioned, but, well, you know what they say about good intentions. Number 7. Independence Day Resurgence While the original Independence Day wasn't exactly a masterpiece, it did have cool visual effects, Will Smith's charisma, and overall it was good mindless fun. This 20 years too late sequel, however, was just mindless. With a ridiculous story and forgettable characters, this is little more than a paint-by-numbers disaster movie. Number 6. Ben-Hur. A pointless remake that's inferior to the Charlton Heston version in almost every way. It looks cheap, it feels rushed, the changes they made to the story made little sense, and Dreadlock's Morgan Freeman looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. Can't say I blame him. Number 5. Gods of Egypt. A batshit insane story that's loosely based on Egyptian mythology, green screen effects that look like I did them, Chadwick Boseman red maining the shit out of his performance, a heap and help in a Hollywood whitewashing, and a director with a grossly inflated ego. That's a recipe for failure if I ever saw one, but at least this one was entertaining, albeit unintentionally. Number 4. The Angry Birds movie. The jokes were pretty weak, the characters were one-dimensional, and the story just dragged ass. All in all, this felt like a direct-to-DVD movie that somehow accidentally ended up in theaters. But clearly I'm in the minority because this damn thing made $350 million, while Kubo and the Two Strings made 20% of that. There is no justice in this world. Number 3. Passengers. Sure, the visuals were nice, and it did have some good acting, but are we really supposed to believe this story about a woman basically falling in love with her murderer is romantic? I'm surprised Stephanie Meyer didn't write this one. Number 2. Shut In I saw this for free at a pre-screening, and I was still tempted to ask for a refund. The story moved at a snail's pace, the constant jump scares and dream sequence fakeouts got annoying real fast, and the twist was absolutely preposterous. Naomi Watts deserves so much better. And finally, number one, The Fifth Wave. Yet another entry in the YA fiction genre, and a pretty good case for dumping that genre entirely. The premise was stupid, the story was boring, the dialogue was awful, the effects were not exactly impressive, the romance was lame, and it's a waste of some perfectly good acting talent. The only thing I really liked about this movie was the fact that it eventually ended so I could leave the theater and go home. It's not the worst movie ever made, but it is the worst movie I saw last year. The scary thing is, thanks to its low budget, it actually made a profit. So we're probably gonna get two more of these. I weep for the future. Agree? Disagree? Wanna let me know just how much you really, really don't care about my opinion? Go ahead and post your comments below. Well, that finally does it for 2016. What do we have to look forward to this year? Nice. Awesome. 
Oh, hell yes. Has potential. Wow, 2017 is looking, oh, god damn it.